היי גייז! A few days ago, a wonderful module has joined the RCM Modules Collection, the Piano Roll. It's a piano roll module that allows us to program notes and patterns in a piano roll environment with features like velocity, end of pattern trigger outputs and much more. Let's start! Okay, so I guess that this is the first piano roll module in VCV rack and a lot of people were asking for something like this, so here it is. Now, as I mentioned before, this module is quite new, so I'm sure that it will get some new features in the near future, but it's already very interesting and lots of fun, so let's have a look at all of its features and then try to create something with it. So we have the main piano roll window where we can enter notes, we can just click on the place where we want to enter a note, or click and drag for painting notes, and it's worth mentioning that this is a monophonic module, so we can only enter one note per step. With up and down arrows, we can move between the different octaves, or we can also click and drag. And in the right click menu, we can um, choose the range of the notes that will show. So we can choose to show just one octave, 12 notes, or 18, up to 60 notes, or 5 octaves. Then on this screen here, we can choose which pattern we want to edit, and we have up to 64 different patterns. Then we can choose how many measures there will be in each pattern. So let's say in pattern number one, I want to have two measures. And then here down, we can switch between the different measures. We can also select how many beats um, will be in each measure and the divisions per beats, so the note length. Now, if we click the upper part, of the module, we can um, choose the play position, and if we click and drag, we can play the measure manually. Another really cool feature is velocity. By holding shift and clicking the notes, we can set the velocity level for this specific note, and it will also display in volts and in MIDI values the velocity levels. By right-clicking the notes, we can set the notes to re-trigger, so the gate will close and open again, re-triggering the notes. Then we have three inputs, a clock input. Now the piano roll has no internal clock whatsoever, so it will react only with each clock signal. We also have reset and pattern, and there is a very easy way to program pattern changes, and we will see this later in the video. We also have five outputs, volt per octave, gate, retrigger, velocity, and end of pattern, which will output a trigger each time the pattern hits its last note. Okay, so now let's see the module in action. So let's first program a short sequence. I will want a one measure sequence, but with only one beat. Let's zoom in also so that we can see what's going on. Let's start from E, going up to B, then down to G, and up to D. Now let's add a voice and we will use the even 3 from Squinky Labs. This module is actually 3 even VCOs in one module and very CPU efficient. We will want to use a sine wave but shape its form a bit, so let's add a shaper also from Squinky Labs. I will also want to control its um, level envelope, so let's add a VCA and the ADSR module from Bog Audio. Let's zoom out again. Let's set a nice snappy envelope, something like this maybe. Now we can send the sine wave from the first oscillator through shaper to the VCA. Let's send the volt per octave output from the piano roll to the oscillator. Let's lower it also one octave. And the gate output we can send to the ADSR and use the ADSR to modulate the VCA. Now let's connect this to the mixer and see how it sounds like. Let's see, um, I will use a multiplied clock to run the piano roll. I have a clock multiplied by four, so let's use this to run the piano roll and we can run the clock. Now you can see that the notes don't play, and that's because the gate will always stay high as long as the notes are not re-triggered, and we can see this when we turn the sustain back up of the envelope. 
So what we have to do is set the notes we want to trigger the ADSR to re-trigger mode again by right clicking them and in this case I want all notes to re-trigger. Very nice. Now if nothing is connected to the retrigger output, the gate will close each time there is a retrigger function active, but otherwise you can also use the retrigger output. So now let's utilize the velocity function by modulating the gain of the shaper. So let's change the velocity of the different notes. Let's take the first one a bit down, the second one up, the third one also down, and the last one also up. Now let's send the velocity output to the gain input of shaper. Let's turn this down a bit and open the attenuverter. And now we have some movement going on. Very nice. Now let's stop the clock for a second. And let's program another pattern. So let's choose pattern number two from the list. And let's again use just one bit but this time with eight divisions. And let's start entering notes together with setting up retrigger already. So we will start again with E. Let me again just zoom in a bit. So let's start again with E, going up to A, then B, then D, and E again. Then let's go down to D, A, and this one here, and up to B. Now you could hear also that the notes were playing while entering them, so we could audition the notes and make corrections when needed. Let's also here change the velocity settings. So again, I'm holding shift and dragging the notes up and down. Very nice. And let's see how this sounds like. So I'll run the clock again. Again, retrigger. Very nice. So now I want to automate the pattern change alternating between the different patterns. And for this, we will use another piano roll. So let's zoom out again and add another one. Very nice. Now this piano roll we will use for changing the patterns and it's really a nice setup and easy starting from C4 um, so C4 will be pattern number one going up by a semitone to C sharp this will be this will change to pattern number two going up another semitone to D will change to pattern number three and so on so we can program the pattern change really easily um, so let's again use only one bit this time with two divisions the first step will be C4 so pattern number one and the second step will be C sharp so pattern number two now let's connect both piano rolls to the reset of the clock so they sit nice together. Send a divided clock to the second piano roll every clock divided by four. And we will use its volt per octave output to change the patterns of the first piano roll. So now let's reset the clock and run it. How cool is this? Okay, so let's stop the clock again. Let's let's um, program another pattern. Um, first of all, we will we will have to disconnect the uh, pattern cable. Now we can choose pattern number three. Let's change it to have two bits, and let's program some notes again while setting also retrigger for each one. So I will zoom in again, and this time we will start from A going up to D, then down to C and G. Very nice. Now let's go up to A, down to F sharp, and then up to G again, and then down to D. Let's activate also retrigger on all of the notes and let's change the velocity settings also here something maybe like this 
maybe something like this. And now in the second piano roll, let's use four beats and set the second and third beat just like the first one. So this will be C4, C sharp, C4, C sharp, and so on. But the fourth beat will have two D notes for the third pattern. So it will play one, two, one, two, one, two, three, three. Again, let's connect its volt per octave output to the pattern input of the first piano. Let's zoom out again. Now we can reset the clock and run it. Very cool. Okay, so now we have a nice sequence going on and let's try to add also a bass. Um, so let's add another piano roll. Let me just turn this off. So let's use another piano roll. Okay, and let's set it to have eight beats with one division. And let's program some notes. We will start again from E go up to G and stay there also once, then go up to B and stay there also again, and then go up to D and stay there for the rest of the measure. Now let's set a retrigger only on the first note in each row. And let's clock this piano roll with the gate output of the second piano roll. So each time there is a pattern change, the bass will move one step forwards. And for this, we will have to activate retrigger on the notes of the second piano roll. So they will trigger the bass. And let's connect this here also to the reset output of the clock and send the volt per octave to the second oscillator. Let's take it down also a few octaves, maybe somewhere here. Change it to pulse wave. And let's use tangents from Vult. Add also another VCA and another ADSR. Let's send the oscillator to the filter, then to the VCA, to the mixer. Let's set the ADSR module to modulate the VCA. Maybe some longer attack time and decay, maybe even more, no sustain. We will use the gate output of this piano roll here to um, trigger the ADSR module. And I will also want to modulate the cutoff point um, of this filter and also the pulse width of the pulse wave. So let's use the BPM LFO from Frozen Wastelands. This LFO will sync to our clock, so let's send uh, the clock to its clock input. We will use the main clock, and let's divide it by 32, and connect also the reset to the clock. Now let's send a sine wave to the cutoff point CV input, close the cutoff a bit, open the attenuverter just a bit, maybe a bit more resonance and a triangle wave to the PWM input of the second oscillator, which is here. Let's change the pulse width a bit and again open the attenuverter. Now we can reset the clock and run it. Very cool, that's a really nice sequence. Okay, let's stop this. Now let's add some hi-hats. So we will use another piano roll. Let's add another one. Very nice. And set it to be eight bits and four divisions. Now what I want to achieve is to have 30 second notes. So let's use a much faster clock. I will use a clock multiplied by eight. And let's paint um, one row of notes. Again, I'm just clicking and dragging the mouse. Something like this. 
but I will set only half of them to re-trigger. So again, we will have actually 16th notes, but we can also add some 32nd notes in between. So let's zoom in a bit, have a closer look. I will re-trigger the first um, step or the first note, skip one, and then the third one also will be re-triggered, and then again, skip one. So only the first and the third notes will be re-triggered. So we will have a feel, or it will play actually 16th notes. But we can add also 32nd notes in between. So let's see, let's add here, maybe another note, and this will be a 32nd note. Let's also change the velocity setting. So the first note will be high, then the second and the third, and the fourth will be low. Then again, the first one high. So we have some uh, rhythm going on some movement. Then here we have the 32nd note. So let's do something like this. Very nice. Now for the hi-hat itself, we will use kinks for mutable instruments or utilities from audible instruments. And let's use three VCAs and you will see also soon why. So first of all, we will send the noise output, the white noise um, to the first VCA. Let's also add the fundamental ADSR module. Let's move both of them here. Very nice. Now let's use this ADSR to modulate the VCA and set a nice snappy envelope, something like this maybe. Now we will use both gate and retrigger outputs to trigger the ADSR. And now let's take the signal that's coming out from this VCA to another VCA because I will want to modulate its velocity. Now let's also use the re-trigger output to trigger the sample and hold of kinks. So I will take another cable from here and trigger the sample and hold module or section. And let's send the sampled um, signal first to the rectify section of kinks because I want to have only positive voltage. And this section has a full rectify output which will, um, it will take the negative voltage and mirror it to the positive side. So from the full rectifier, we will send the signal to the third VCA because I will want to attenuate it a bit. Let's already close the VCA a bit. And from there, we will modulate the decay time. So this will be, uh, we will send to the CV input of the decay. And let's use the velocity output from the piano roll to modulate the second VCA. So again, what we have here, we have white noise going to uh, one VCA that's being modulated by an ADSR. Then it's going to another VCA, which uh, is being modulated by the velocity. Then we have a sample and hold that's going through a full rectifier to um, receive only positive voltage. It's going through another VCA to attenuate this signal. And this is modulating the decay time of the ADSR module. Now let's connect the reset again to the clock. Let me just also zoom out a bit. Okay, and let's reset the clock and run it. And let's see how this sounds like. So I will take the hi-hat and connect it to the mixer. And you can hear the 30 second notes here. Very nice. Okay, let's add another voice. I will stop the clock again. So let's add one more voice utilizing the end of pattern function. We will use another um, VCA. Let's make this here. Let's take another VCA and another ADSR module. Again, Bog Audio. Now let's send the third oscillator to the VCA. Let's set it on the even waveform. Now we will not send pitch information to this oscillator because the volt per octave inputs of the uh, even three are normal to one another. So the third oscillator will receive the same pitch information as the second oscillator. And in this case, it's more than enough. So let's set a nice snappy envelope. Again, sustain all the way down. 
And let's use the end of pattern trigger output to trigger the ADSR module. I'm using the one from the first piano roll. Now this means that each time the last note of the pattern is being triggered, also the ADSR module will be triggered, so we will get a nice rhythm going on. And let's modulate the VCA with the ADSR module. Again, reset the clock, run it, and let's see how this sounds like. Let's take it also one octave down maybe. Very, very cool. Okay guys, and that's it. That was the piano roll from RCM. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.